Welcome everyone. This is Dina from the Marks Group, and today we're going to be reviewing how to work with autoresponders in Zoho campaigns. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions you have on this subject or anything else Zoho. Be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users as well as us to improve the video library. Here are some of the key points we're going to talk about today. First, what are autoresponders? What they do is they allow you to automate messages with your subscribers. For instance, if you want to send a subscriber a birthday note on their birthday, you can set that up as automatic so you don't have to do it. Um, there are many ty different types of autoresponders based on what you're trying to accomplish, and we'll go through all of those in a minute. And finally, detailed reporting is available within, with the autoresponders to help you gain insight on your reach. So now let's go into Zoho. So if you're on the dashboard and you want to get to the autoresponders, what you're going to do on this black menu is go down to the one that says Automation. And when you click on that, you're going to have two options, autoresponders and workflow. You're going to click on autoresponders, and then you'll see that we have one in here already in draft form and we can either we can create our own. So what I'm going to show you is if you click on the green button to the right that says create autoresponder, this is where you're going to see all of the different options of what you can do with autoresponder. And I'm going to just quickly talk about what each one gives you the ability to do. So the first one is called sign up. And what this is, it it can it helps you when you have a new subscriber come on, automate the messages that they're going to get. And you can do either a series of messages or just one, you know, welcome uh, message. And it's a message that you create. And that way you don't have to worry about tracking the number of subscribers or how many have come on and making sure that you communicate with them. You can set this up in Zoho Campaign to do it itself. The next one is date field. And what this is, it sets some triggers based on dates uh, on, on sending e certain messages out. So for example, the birthday example I used, that would be a date field autoresponder. Another one, you know, as it says here, is um, subscription renewal. You know, maybe you set it so a month out from the subscription renewing, if it's a paid subscription, you start sending a series of emails maybe every week until they, until they renew um, to remind them and maybe with you add new offers as you're getting closer to their, their deadline for renewing. But you can automate all of that with the date fields. The next one is called Close Group. And what this is, it's triggered, it's within a specific group of subscribers. And um, what you can do here is, def is define what you want the messages to be to a specific group. So maybe you have a whole list of, um, of subscribers. But, you know, some of them, maybe they, you know, um, click on something or they request to deactivate. So you can send out a specific email to them based on whatever activity you just thought to find. The next one is calendar. And with the calendar one, this can be used for promotional events. So maybe, you know, every July 4th, you're going to have a promotion. So you can set up some autoresponders. So, you know, maybe leading up to the July 4th weekend, you send out certain standard um, emails or, or notifications. Then we come back down on the bottom row, and the first one here is email action. And depending on what you can do here is customize um, what you send to them based on what they're doing. You're, you may be sending them an email newsletter. Maybe they click on certain things. So based on what they click on, you can start customizing uh, the additional offers or emails that they get. The next one is called Smart Series, and this is based on um, setting up uh, autoresponders based on certain times of when they come. So, for example, um, maybe, you know, as they are, um, as it says here, um, specific intervals, maybe after they sign up, you're going to say, you know what, maybe six months after somebody signs up, we want to start, re maybe they're sent to, to fall off at that point. So we're going to send out emails to re-up them and get their interest going um, or things like that. And you can choose if you want to include earlier emails as follow-ups, but just so you can get things out on a set series basis. And then the last one is called cyclical. 
And this is recurring campaigns that happen um, based on specific time intervals. So maybe every three months you want to send out a certain email uh, to, to your subscribers. So you would set that up as a cyclical autoresponder. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through the um, method of setting up an autoresponder just to show you how it works. So I'm going to create a date field one. So when you come here, first thing you're going to go do is put a, put in um, a name. So I'm going to just call this sample date field um, autoresponder. The date field that I'm going to select, um, it doesn't have a, cus a date field yet. So I'm going to go ahead and, and create it and just do it based on date. And I'll just call this the date field. So I could have created something that says something different, but um, this also shows you how you can um, easily add things into, uh, into Zoho campaigns. The next one is you select a mailing list. So I'm going to select um, test two. And then if I wanted to, if this list has, has segments, you can decide if maybe for a certain segment of a list you want to send um, you know, something. So you can do a, uh, select this. And this next part, the select a segment, is only going to show up if you actually had segments. And in this case, we had one. So if we wanted to only send um, emails on a certain date based on um, based just for the segment D segment, we could do that. But I'm going to deselect this. And then you can see determine the frequency. Do you want to send something yearly or one off? In this case, I'm going to do it yearly. And then you would say create. And then here is where you start creating the message. So you click on create message, and this takes you to the same format that you have when you're starting a campaign and you want the newsletter. Uh, so we can go in and we can just say sample date field, field message. Um, the subject I can say sample or, or thank you and then to do a space, and then you can personalize this here. I'm going to personalize it with the first name so that when they get it, the subject of the email will be thank you, whoever they are. I'm going to set this up to, to look like it's being sent from whoever owns the account um, in Zoho CRM, and the sender name is what's going to show up. And then I'm going to click Next. And then this is where you can uh, choose the template. In this case, since I know, you know, this is like a, we can do a birthday one for this one. Uh, so here, just do a birthday one, use this template. I can go in and, and customize this if I want, but in this case, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, save and proceed just to show you the process. And then we can see here, this is there. I'm not going to add a header or footer for now. And then we can click Next. And this is where it would get to the Verify stage. And you can double check the subject name, the sender address, all the different information. And if I wanted to, you know, I can edit anything I needed to. And then click Next again. And then it says you need to have at least the first, very first message ready to activate Autoresponder. So I can activate this if I want to, and then it will show you, um, here's like a flow that you can then be setting up if I once I activate that. So here is the message that we created. I can send it out for review for verification. And then if I decided that I wanted to add a new follow-up, maybe, you know, four days later saying, hope you enjoyed your birthday or something, you can create the follow-up message here as well. Uh, and we so said here, uh, yearly, and then the other options here are to, we can clone this if we want to have a different one, but I'm going to go back. And then now you can see that we have the date field autoresponder that we had before and the test one. And then if we were to actually start this, we can activate it. We would, we, if we wanted to activate it, we could here as well. But let's also go back into this. Okay, never mind. Um, so that's what we can do here as well. 
And then if we had some information in here, we would be able to get some reporting on these as well. Unfortunately, neither one of these is active. So um, I can't exactly show you the reporting. But again, in each of these, you could activate it. Um, other things you can do is remove subscribers from the list or add subscribers to the list as well. So if we just go back um, and look at the Create Autoresponder, so as you can see here, there are many different options on how you can set up an autoresponder and how it can automate some of the things that maybe you have in your calendar now or things that you want to do but you just haven't had the bandwidth to do. And you can use Zoho Campaign and the autoresponder functionality to be able to do a lot of that. So if we go back to what we initially said we would cover, um, what I showed you is that autoresponders allow you to automate messages with your subscribers. There are many different types of autoresponders, as you saw, depending on what your goal is. And then once you activate an autoresponder and the campaign goes through, you can get detailed reporting to help you understand how, what your reach has been. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please check out our training library for other videos like this. And if you have any suggestions for other classes or questions about Zoho, please email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thanks for watching.